I actually distinctly, um, I'll just, should I just start again? <laughs> um, I actually distinctly remember um, when I first tried a good bean. Hi, I'm Amelia and I'm the founder of Bold Bean Co. Um, we sell premium jarred heirloom beans and we are on a mission to make you obsessed with beans. Today, I've ordered a bunch of amazing stuff from Farm Drop. I'm just gonna be making some really simple dishes because with good beans, you really don't need to do much with them. These are all grown in areas of Spain and I went to visit um, one of the bean farms uh, a few months ago and it was incredible to see like in action meeting the farmers behind them a lot of the farmers they actually grow a variety of beans each year so they might grow, grow two of these and then the next year grow another one so um, I met a kind of family of farmers who work work together and that was a really incredible experience because they are so passionate about planting beans because of how amazing they are for farming and, and they love that element to it. But also beans are a huge part of Spanish culture and Spanish heritage. So they really feel that connection to the product they're growing. I actually distinctly remember um, when I first tried a good bean and I was really hungover and I was in a flat and I honestly had nothing in the fridge straight from the jar I just remember putting a bus bean straight into my mouth and I couldn't believe how good it was and I realized that kind of really made me see beans in such a different light and appreciate them and respect them in a way that people in the UK tend to not have that relationship with beans. So these are the queen chickpeas. These are a special variety but they're also selected from that batch of beans to be these like huge juicy queens. So I really like them roasted up because you can crisp them up on the outside but then they're still really tender in the middle. If you're crisping up chickpeas you need to dry them out just to make sure that they're really getting that that surface and the moisture's left so they're going to crisp up. Beans are what we call nitrate fixers. So they take nitrogen from the air and they it, as they're growing they fix it into the soil. Um, and the reason why that's relevant is because a lot of synthetic fertilizers, which are kind of ruining our soils as they currently are, um, are nitrates. So you fertilize the soil with nitrates. Whereas if you have beans planted, you don't need to put in synthetic fertilizers or you'd hardly need as much. So they're hugely important in kind of naturally regenerating our soils. They're also cover crops. So you don't need to kind of plant them every year and dig up the soil and like kind of ru ruin all of the biodiversity that's kind of grown in the soil during that time. By eating beans, you're supporting kind of better soil practices and healthier soils, um, which is really important. So in the farm drop delivery, I got some of this labne with confit garlic and tart, which just sounds so good. Um, and obviously it's got lots of kind of soft, oozy textures. So what I wanted to do is with the crispy chickpeas, load them on top and kind of make them almost a complete dish. So I'm just kind of smudging this down. Yeah. So really good. So what's really nice about that as a dish is if you, you could almost have that as a main with like a tomato and like um, tomato and cucumber salad because these, because the chickpeas are so filling, they're almost like a kind of having, it's almost like having meat when they're like this. So good. Okay. So good. Come on. Mm. 